Okay, in this part of the tutorial, we're going to be taking a standard JPEG and spice it up a little bit so it looks like a better picture. First thing we're going to want to do, I've got to uh, expand my layers here, and as you can see, it just says background layer. Now, this is typical of what happens when you import a JPEG image into Photoshop. The negative to having this as the background layer and being locked as it is, is you can see this FX button here and this mask button here on my cursor are both dulled out so I can't use them. Now those are very important features uh, generally in Photoshop so usually I'll go ahead and convert this to a Photoshop layer and to do that simplest thing to do is just double click the word background and then you have get this new layer dialog opens up. I'm just gonna accept the settings click OK and now it's a layer. Now I can add a layer mask or add a layer style which has plenty of options but we won't get into those now okay S next thing we're gonna do what we we've analyzed our photo and we decide we want to bring out the shadows a bit more we want a little more detail in there so in our layers I'm gonna duplicate this background layer one way you can do that is just to hit control J on your keyboard and now we'll copy the layer and just name it that layers name with copy you can also go to layer and then duplicate layer Okay, now that we've got our duplicate layer, we're going to go to Image, Adjustments, Shadow and Highlight. Now this is an amazing filter. If you've probably already noticed what it did, I'll click this preview button again. It went ahead and brought out all your shadows on the water and on the mountain and kind of gave you a little bit of color in that mountain there, some green. What you can do with this is how much of the shadows you want to bring out. And for the highlights, it's how much you want to dim those highlights, take those down a bit. We're okay with our highlights as they are. Maybe add a little bit, of, bring it down just a little bit. Our shadows, we're going to go ahead and make that 50%. And we can click the preview again, kind of see what we're going to get, and then we hit OK. All right, now that's been applied to that layer that we just copied. And the reason we copied that is because the shadow and highlight option is a destructive filter. It actually modifies pixel detail in your image. So you can't, once you start going through things, you can't just turn that off. But if you make a duplicate layer, as you see here, we can press this I button and turn it off and we still have our original layer and you can kinda see what your work is done already